so hey guys welcome back to my channel on today's video we're gonna be doing like a q a slash like but more so leaning towards like advice kind of like or just like you know my thoughts on like how to get over a breakup and like you know how to move on for someone about just like fucking love and breakups that's what we're gonna be talking about so let's get on with the video but i did like write down like a bunch of stuff because i knew i was going i might come in here empty so i wanted to think hard and like actually like put in some details and thoughts so like i have here like on my ipad i have it like stuff written down and like what questions i'm reading so for the first question okay let me stop moving sorry for the first question it is how to get over someone you were in love with <laughs> once you accept y'all are done you kind of like don't want them anymore and it's easier to move forward and then so i think you have to come to acceptance on whatever happened between you guys and and like that happened and just, that's just life that's just how life is sometimes but if you keep holding on and thinking oh what if you're not gonna if you're not you're not gonna go anywhere like you're not gonna move forward and get over them if you keep thinking like oh what if there's a chance we might get back together you know like yes like i understand like okay it's hard but think about the positive aspects in your life and maybe you were in a toxic relationship and think to yourself wow like i'm finally out of that toxic relationship like i did you know like you're done hurting you're done being hurt and you're done hurt or you're done hurting someone else you know whatever like way it went um then after you come to acceptance or that realization you focus on other things such as self-care and maybe family or friendships you have in life because the people surrounding you um they're here they're here to help you you know if you let them you just have to let other people help you too if you do want the help or need the help so then the next question it is how to deal with the breakup in a healthy way it's kind of like kind of like similar to the last question but not at the same so the way you can deal with deal with the breakup in a healthy way is letting yourself feel the emotions for as long as you need to rather if it's anger sadness confusion etc but if you don't feel that pain or whatever emotion it is you're feeling eventually you'll break down and feel the emotion later in life and be like damn you know i thought i was healing like it's like were you or were you avoiding the feeling of the emotions that came with the breakup you know the aftermath so there's no there's like honestly let me just say this there's no time limit like i know like some people like it takes a little longer but like i feel like i shouldn't like judge like someone how long like they um take how long it takes them to get over a breakup so i'm not gonna judge them and like because like everybody's different but what else you can do is gain some new interests or focus on some hobbies to help yourself cope with the breakup if necessary talk to friends family or therapists to help you um, because the truth is you aren't alone and everyone goes through this eventually during their life you know also cut ties with your ex that's a big one that is like the biggest thing i learned from like going through a breakup and like getting over them so even if you ended off on good terms if you still have feelings for them or they have feelings you feelings for you but yet you want to move on like you know you're trying to move on and stop talking to them or don't have them on social media but also like another thing i think you should do is say affirmations to help you gain like more confidence again you know become happier and lastly get some sleep or rest because you you'll need it shit. um how to get over the fear of moving on so i've gone through something like this and i think a lot of people do but it's like when you're used to someone or comfortable with them it could be tough i think if you know you should leave or move on you should know you should leave or move on from your partner then you are more than capable of doing so you know you just need the courage like honestly so if you're moving on let's just like take a moment to understand that you know i think it may come from a side of you where you may think there's a slight chance that you guys might get back together or you're holding on to what you guys had i don't think you should wait for anybody especially when they moved on their damn selves you know that's you know by the way, I'm saying this with kindness. It's just like, this is a hard question, honestly, to answer. So don't, I'm sorry if I like sound like a little rude. But yeah. Um, so I think you have to let go of the past and what you have with that person and focus on what you have now and what the universe may bring you bring to you later in life. Um, you can't dwell on the past because the past is nothing for you. It's what you have in your presence that does something for you and what you can do with whatever you have in your presence um like yeah i think like what you have in the present you know 
So um, you have to find strength in yourself to overcome that fear. You were like, damn, I wish I let go sooner. And once you are ready for something new, it will come to you. Next question is how to get over that or how to get out of that breakup slump. So um, number one, do not talk to your ex. Do not look at their pages. And if you're ready, delete the memories you have with them. You know, like all the pictures, messages, any of that. This will help you find your independence again if like you're really dependent on them and have a healthy time being alone. Spend time with your loved ones. Find new interests. Go out and have some fun once in a while. Go to the club, you know, get to it. Unless you're not of age and like, you know, you can still go to like, and then like, you know, go to Dave and Buster's or something. <laughs> I don't know. Everyone has, I don't know what you guys have in the other states, but yeah. Um, say affirmations. There's a bunch of affirmations you can look up, like um some like you just search up like affirmations you know to get out of a breakup like when i just got out of the breakup affirmations blah 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 and just such a sign on and listen to your favorite music that would show you love um i'm gonna put a playlist that helped me in the description so yeah go check the description i'm gonna put it up at top so you guys don't have to go scroll through my description what to do this is the next question by the way what to do when you block a guy and he keeps popping up you know who asked this question is so funny for this because <laughs> be for real <laughs> see me personally i think it's funny when people try to like reach out and like like re reach out to me like knowing they're blocked on other so platforms or social media or like whatever like the number so they like it gives me motivation in life so like it can be annoying at sometimes you know you're like damn fucking leave me alone but like you just really gotta block them on everything or even when they keep finding new ways like block them or just ignore them like keep blocking them or ignoring them. or tell them like tell them straight up like just leave me alone like you're weird sometimes and they'll like stop eventually but like, once they know like oh damn they're not she's not replying then it's like fuck they'll definitely leave you alone um when can you this is the next question this is the next question when can you put your guard down when in the talking stage Hmm. So, everybody's different, but I think when you when you guys both settle on y'all being exclusive will be a good time because then it's like, okay, cool, you can chill or feel comfortable doing so. But, like, I feel like if you're, like, not ready to put your car down, maybe you don't trust that person that much or whatever. But um, eventually, I think, like, you know, you'll be able to. You just have to, like, I don't know. You have to really find the moment because me if i don't trust you from the start there's no i don't know i just can't build trust i have to either trust you from the start or don't like i can tell based off people's energy and vibes like from once i first meet someone i'm like either i can i trust you or i don't i trust you like right away or i just don't trust you at all <laughs> that's weird but like i know and then i end up realizing later like oh damn and that's why i knew i couldn't trust you from the start because they end up doing me dirty as fuck or then I'd be like, oh damn, I could trust them, like, you know, they don't do me dirty. But yeah, so here's the next question. How can you tell when you're ready for a new relationship when it's been a while? I think you would know when you don't have to depend on other people to make you feel happy because you've already been happy for a while on your own. And it's like you're thankful for what you have in life. But you're also not afraid to get into a new relationship and like step into a new relationship. And I think that's a big part, big part because in my opinion, I don't think it's good taking all that time away from dating, but then going into a new relationship okay. with. So what I wanted to say in that part of the video is like, I kind of like, I cut that piece out and I'm just going to add this clip because I worded it incorrectly and I don't like, well, as I'm editing this, I don't like what I said. It's like a little controversial and I don't want to like, you know, I don't want to do too much because I don't want people to like leave me hate or nothing i don't want any of that so basically um what i kind of wanted to do, wanted to say there is like don't be like if you're like you if you're so afraid to get into a relationship then it's you might want to take a step back and like not step into a new relationship or like proceed like with dating unless like you know you work that out with your potential partner so that is all i want to say and i'm hoping you guys you enjoyed this video so far so it's a little commercial break because this is me editing look at me 
So the next question is, have you ever broken up with someone over text or been broken up by someone over text? Do you think it's bad to do that? Yes, I have done that, but that was like in high school and that thing was serious, not gonna lie. Like it was not serious. So I feel like that was okay, but I'm not gonna justify what are my actions. But so it's like, mm, at the same time, it's not okay. So forget it, I just said that. But if you have no choice to break up with them, but over text then okay like i don't think it's a bad idea but i think i feel like at least a call like call them up and be like damn you know hey what's up i just want to talk okay we're done bitch you know something like that don't okay, don't say that but you know um then i feel like that'd be better but like you know some people are long distance and any of that then okay but overall i think in person is the best way to do so unless you're terrified to do it in person because like like if you're in a toxic relationship maybe have someone else around if necessary but overall i just think like or like call it you know but overall i think um in person is the best way to go like for real the next question is how can you tell you miss someone versus the idea of them like what's the thought difference when is it just a thought and not a feeling but I think you can tell you miss someone is when you miss them and not what they did for you or anything like that. But maybe if you think about them constantly or find yourself wanting to tell them stuff you can't, then like I feel like you truly miss them for them and not just the idea of them, you know? Here's the last question. How to know if it's love or obsession? You'll know, like, okay. You'll know it's love and not obsession when you aren't jealous or controlling or even possessive of over them. But let me, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a back a notch to the jealous part. Jealous is a normal human thing, like human. I don't know if it's like a trait. No, it's like it's just a normal thing that us humans do. Like we get jealous. Okay, that's like we can't. You honestly can't do much to fix that. Like, but also I'm gonna put down a video below that will help you like know like also like some differences between healthy and unhealthy love. I have a video. I'll link down below. And then so you'll be content and love them for who they are and you'll be able to give them space and lastly you trust them and like admire them for them you don't have to like change anything about them or want to change anything about them that is the end of this video and i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's like a kind of a different video but i wanted to do that and share my thoughts on that kind of stuff and give you guys advice so thank you for everyone who asked the questions and i'll see you guys in my next video bye